everyone. Hi, welcome to Agile World Wellness. And today we will talk about psychological safety and we will talk about the role of feedback. Everybody's talking about feedback. Everybody's saying it's very important. Do we really use the whole power and unleash the power of feedback at the workplace? So let's agree that feedback is something trendy in management. And we all know what it is from the childhood, from the first days we have been receiving feedback feedback from people around us. And actually, feedback creates uh, for us the opportunity to look at ourselves and to actually understand how do we look like when we interact with other people. And it creates uh, for us the possibility to understand who we are and <clears throat> how do we act in the society. So, Feedback is important. However, it can be very painful, and we also know it from our experience. Sometimes feedback can be very painful. It can be really traumatic, and sometimes we remember what people told us many years ago, even though the world has changed and we have changed, and this feedback is not important anymore, anymore but it still hurts. So why is it, and what to do with that? First of all, uh, the way you give feedback is really important. Sometimes you have a great intention to share something with a person, but the way you put it in words is rather awkward for his brain, and he has a very, you know, frightening reaction, and he's rejecting. What to do? You know the sandwich or the hamburger effect, and you just really need to use it. So if you are sharing some constructive critics to a person, constructive meaning that he can really change it. I don't think I can choose, can change my looks dramatically, right? Uh, this is the way I'm born with. So if you give me the feedback of changing the whole body I have, um, most probably that wouldn't be very constructive because I'm born the way I am. But if you tell me that I can work on my style, I can work on my makeup, I can work on my body language, this is constructive because it is adjustable. This is just in my hands and I just need to accept the feedback to start working uh, on it and making it better. So, that is why when you give this constructive feedback, you always need to prepare the brain of the recipient uh, of the feedback with something good. You really need to make an icebreaker. You need to establish a connection without shooting the critics just right away. If you do it without any preparation, the brain will reject whatever you say. And this is not your objective. So you can thank uh, a person for something or you can really show his appreciate appreci uh, your appreciation and you can um, highlight what are the strong points, what are the strong traits, what are his advantages, what are the things he's doing really well. So really appraising him, recognizing him, because it can never be just black. There is always something good about the person. Even if there is nothing good in regards to the topic you say, you can just say, I see, I appreciate your effort. I see you're really trying hard. I'm very thankful for you, um, to you for doing this and that or for being that and that. Or at least thank you that you gave me the opportunity to share with you. After you have a slice of bread, which is very yummy, yummy and nice for the person, he's open for feedback. Of course, uh, this is the part where you need to give the feedback and uh, highlight the area for development for the person. You need to choose the positive word. You need to be very delicate. You need to put your message very, very clear. And, uh, you know, here you're like neurosurgeon. You're doing, you know, everything in a very accurate way because uh, words can be traumatic. So you really need to choose them. When you share the critical part, please always remember to put another slice of bread, another sandwich, which slice and thank uh, the recipient of the feedback for his attention, for his willing willingness and openness to feedback or highlight any strong trait or advantage he said he has. So in this uh, way, you finish um, with some good vibes and, you know, 
you just um, put another slice which make the whole communication more comfortable. We also, we know about the sandwiches on hot, hot dogs, but do we usually do that in daily interaction? We're in the hurry. Unfortunately, in many cases, we're, we're skipping you know, the, the bread, the, the sweet part of the sandwich. So, and also before you start sandwiching, you always need to ask for the uh, uh, permission uh, to share your feedback. You need to ask whether now and here the person is ready to talk about it, if he is ready to absorb your critics. And you always need to make sure that this is the right time and the right moment, because it can be that he's very tired. It can be that it was a very heavy day. And just now he's more sensitive than ever. And he needs time to gain some energy because receiving feedback is requiring quite a lot of resource. It's not an easy part of the game. So the person needs to be in quite a good productive state. Otherwise, he will have a rejection. He will be in kind of state of opposition. He will not observe what you say, even if you try hard with all the sandwiches which you have. Um, if a person tells you that now, sorry today or at this stage of life or anyways, I'm not ready for that. This is absolutely his right. And you need to respect this right. If he's open, uh, then you can say, oh, good. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very happy that you give me this opportunity. I will share my feedback. Uh, please uh, always tell me if I'm wrong. And the magic trick is 360 feedback. And this really, you know, connects the people. So it's not just the hierarchy where I'm the feedbacker, yeah, or the person who gives feedback. And this is the recipient. And I teach him how to live. I take, uh, I tell him what to do, what to change. But, you know, this is a gal equal relationships uh, without the dominance where you share your feedback, you ask whether it's adequate, you uh, share the good and the bad things. And then in response, this person has the possibility to give feedback to you. So you exchange and actually contribute to each other development. This is a win-win game and this is the best thing which can happen. So you have a dialogue, you share your sandwich, then you may discuss something and then the other person saying, good, we have a feedback session today. I also want to say thank you for this. This is your advantage. I really appreciate it. So here is something, the area for your development and uh, you're really strong person in that and this and it's, it's really great that we work together so this is already called relationships it's not just giving feedback but building stronger social bonds like you are together you are both interested and curious about becoming a better version of yourself and this is how you interact and help each other uh, what else so uh, the structure of the feedback is important uh, the way what you say and how you say it as well, also the right moment in the agreement of the person, but also I think a 360 approach, but also I think what is important is uh, before giving feedback to answer the question, uh, what is my objective? So not just uh, highlighting the area for the person, but what do you really want to reach? Do I want to make our interaction more productive and our work more efficient? And there are some moments which really don't, don't contribute to the end result. And that is why I want to change it. Is it that you want to support a, pers support a person on his career development stage and there's nothing to do with you and your personal interests, but it's just you really want to help a person to, to, to grow and to work on the areas of his development? Or is it anything else? Is it that you want to build stronger relationships and uh, show that you are not indifferent to, to his life, to his career, the way he... Or is it anything else? And when you answer the question, 
for what I will give the feedback, why I will give the feedback, then you can actually answer the second question, how will I give it? What are the words, the formulations? Uh, um, what will uh, my sandwich look like? Because, you know, jumping into how part can be tricky because everything depends on your goal. We give feedback for a certain purpose. It can be uh, something quite selfish because you don't like the way a person interacts with you if you want to fix it, or it can be quite altruistic. You can uh, feel that, you know, you're engaged in, the, in, in things happening with the person and there is nothing beneficial for you directly, but you want to assist and for you it's important. And the how part will really depend on the why or for what part. This is important. Of course, um, it, when you give feedback, you need to provide real life examples and cases you just cannot say that you know you tend to be very aggressive or uh, you tend to be not very uh, you know uh, delicate in communications and you can be rude or um, this is a uh, generalization and uh, you need to get some data and some proof you really need to uh, remember uh, what were the real life examples, cases and situation where person, for example, uh, there have been a meeting where you said this and what, for example, I saw you talking with this person and it was they, for example, remember when we were doing this together, you behave this and that. The more examples, the more trust you will generate and the bigger is possibility that the person will really understand this is about him and he needs to digest it or and you know afterwards work with it because if it's just generalizing it will be like that also very important when we are criticizing and then we uh, do not criticize the person, the human, which is at front of us, of us yes, with his beating heart. We are uh, giving feedback and criticizing his behavior. And whereas we cannot really change the person, the human being, we can change the behavior or the attitude of the person. And the attitude is usually reflected in the behavior and in certain ways, uh, how a person reacts to things, talks, does things, and so on. So, and you can even say that now what I'm saying is that uh, it's some behavior that you can adjust. And that's it. I'm not saying you, something is wrong with you. I don't saying you are bad. I'm saying that this behavior uh, can be uh, tuned yeah, for the sake of something better. This is very important to really uh, separate the person, the personality from his activities, actions, and behaviors. Uh, just uh, in this way, we separate with you feelings, emotions from the person. Yeah, it's not that I am an angry person. It's just that sometimes I tend to have anger as an emotion. It's not that I am, uh, let's say, um, not, not a very confident person. No, sometimes my behavior demonstrates that I'm not confident about something. Yeah, you can see the difference. Like the meaning is the same, but the way you position it with words is different. And for the brain, it's much more comfortable to work with this reality where we talk about the behaviors which can be adjusted and not the whole person with his value systems and so on. Also, when we talk about feedback, very often we only mm, think about critics. But you can also, and you should also provide positive feedback. Take your time just to say something good. Take your time to thank somebody for something good and show your appreciation. If uh, we take a time scale over here, and if a person knows that there will be uh, moments where you will be talking about areas of development, but there would be also moments where you just highlight the wins, the advantages, the strong points of the person. For him, it will feel more safe because he knows it's a mixture. Yeah, so and it's not just sandwiches, but from time to time, uh, say some feedback, share some feedback, which is only um, centered around the, 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 the good stuff. Yeah, take time to say to the person that you appreciate his, you know, 
quick and fast and furious approach to solving problems, or his agile mindset, which you can see every day, or he had great communication and presentation skills of the ability to make the negotiations and make amazing presentations. Positive feedback should be also incorporated into the culture. So the feedback culture itself is not something about the punishment, but it's also about something rewarding, something positive, something engaging and actually good. This is very important. Another thing is that um, this sometimes it is neglected that the feedback needs to be in person. So giving feedback when there is some third party, some other people will not work. It's a very intimate uh, thing. It should be one on one. In some extreme cases, when there is already maybe a, a conflict situation that needs to be resolved, it can be a supervisor, or maybe if, if it's just two more, it's more than two people involved in the situation, you can have a discussion. But actually, classical feedback uh, is one on one in person where you can see each other, you can uh, communicate not only on, on a verbal basis, but also non-verbally and so create the connection and it's it's it works much better than the written feedback because when you write things you cannot deliver the emotions even with smiley faces things can be interpreted in a wrong way the person may be reading it from his own perspective in the mood he is maybe a bad mood so it's much more safe to ha um, to have a real life human communication where you pronounce things a person has the possibility just in the moment to ask clarifying questions to thank you to react so it's a discussion so feedback is not just you know informing the person it's not a monologue but actually it's a dialogue where a person can ask you questions can you bring more examples can you tell me what do you mean by saying that? Can you tell me uh, what is the desired outcome? How do you want it to be? You're not satisfied with the, the state A, but how do you think it should look like? Can you bring me more um, examples and maybe uh, your recommendations? How do you recommend how do you recommend it to me to, to start working? What about your experience? So it is a dialogue. This is, in the, you need to do it from the position of love to the person. Yeah, love is not a very businessy term, but if you do it with a good intention, with the love to the humans, people, and your team, then it would be, that, that, that's a bigger chance it would be um, constructive and, and efficient. Yeah, this is very, very important to set up your mood yeah, and your mission. Like, why are you giving feedback as such? Also, in order to, if the feedback environment is not set up yet, it's not a feedback friendly community you're working, start receiving feedback with gratitude. Be happy to receive feedback. Uh, treat it not as the critics. Uh, don't treat it like uh, treat it like being uh, something rewarding, something stimulating. Treat it, an, treat it as an opportunity to become better, to change something for the sake of the good, your personal and then the mutual team. And, you know, be happy to get another feedback. This is data. Uh, this is information that you receive from external environment, from other people who are like mirrors to you, reflecting your behaviors and, and your characteristics and traits and um, you know accept it work with it as a working material you always have the right to reject the feedback maybe the person doesn't see the whole context maybe he's subjective you know you always have the right to take it to look at it and then throw it away if it's not adequate if it's not about you and it's not true you shouldn't eat it right away the sandwich they are getting you take the sandwich you make a degustation of all the slices. If it really is a good sandwich and this is somewhere, something that you can work with, you get it. But if it's a sandwich which uh, has a bad expiry date and it's toxic, yeah, and uh, the person was sharing feedback, not from the position of love, but just to offend you and just to criticize or he has some manipulative objective, then his feedback is not adequate. It doesn't provide any area for development. You take the sandwich, 
you put it to the dustbin. You also have the right, but the main is that you don't reject the sandwiches right away. And sometimes they are not sandwiches. Sometimes it's a very direct, very painful uh, experience of getting the feedback. Not all the people have the knowledge and the motivation to make the feedback more uh, efficient and more comfortable. So you need to accept this diversity of people and different levels of self-development, consciousness, and also different values as well. As well, They have the right to be the way they are. Just, uh, you know, uh, take the feedback, nothing personal, analyze it, uh, make a deep dive, scan the situation, ask for more feedbacks to justify this hypothesis, uh, be self-reflective, do a self-analysis, keep an eye on how you behave. And then after this work, you know, either justify the hypothesis or reject it and then create the action plan. What else is important with feedback is that uh, it needs to be quite regular. Uh, big corporations impl implement personal development reviews, implement, um, you know, the whole cycle uh, throughout the year where employees get a rating and receive a feedback from their colleagues, from their management partners, suppliers, and people they interact with. So of course, it's great when there is uh, something systematic, when the team knows every quarter, every six months, we have a whole routine dedicated to feedback. We celebrate this period. We are happy we have this uh, procedure, which is formalized, but also it doesn't cancel the everyday feedback thing. And one trick is that it has to be really instant. So instead of you know not being happy Happy with somebody's behavior for one week, two months, or half a year, and then shooting it post factum to the person. In the best situation, uh, you need to react to certain behavior you want to give feedback on. You know, in uh, in the first uh, few minutes. So the person's behavior is is not something acceptable, and you want to agree on changing it. When the meeting finishes, you tell the person, hey, uh, I would like to share some feedback. Are you ready for it now? Or let's set up a meeting today, later, or tomorrow. It has to be a very quick reaction. So this conflict and all these fears related uh, with it, it doesn't grow as a snowball to something toxic, something which doesn't contribute to psychological safety at all. You know, it, uh, it, it, it is a lot to do with uh, engagement and satisfaction of employees and what experience of the corporation shows that instant right away quick feedback is a, an easy fix to that. So instead of postponing this feedback session, do it as soon as possible. ASAP approach works here. Also from the position that the person, he may forget his behavior, he may forget, you know, the details, and then it would be difficult to recall things and it would be difficult for the brain actually to, to understand and to judge and to make the decision whether the feedback is uh, correct or it's a nonsense. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so why you do it? for what you do it, how you will do it with a sandwich uh, or maybe any other algorithm you think which works. Also important to give feedback, but also receive it, being very thankful to the feedback, uh, doing it systematically on regular basis. And today, please think, who are the people that are looking for a positive feedback? Who are the people you can um, provide a, a good feedback on something great they do, highlighting their advantages, their skills, their talents, and just, you know, shoot it, give this positive feedback. And when you train yourself to give a positive feedback with time, it will be easier to provide also a mixed feedback, also with constructive constructive um, criticism for the sake of the good. And you can start with yourself as well. You can uh, play a game. You can just for 15 minutes, go out from your role of being an agile coach or a senior architect or a marketing manager or an accountant to whoever you are. You go out from, from, your, from yourself, basically in your imagination. And imagine if you were the person who works with you, who interacts with you, what kind of feedback would you provide to yourself? So me, me as Julia, I would need to jump out from my blue sweater and say, hi, Julia, 
Are you ready for some feedback today? Um, I wanted to share something. And then I would be saying, yes, okay, darling, please shoot it right away. I'm all ears. And they say, hey, Julia, I saw that you're really uh, working in a passionate way. And, you know, you do this and that. And this is so good. I wanted to highlight to you that in certain situations, you may act this and that, blah, blah, blah. And it seems that if you change it to another thing, then it would be better in contribution and blah, blah, blah. And Julia, there is something else good I want to say. You, This is your this and that and that. And thank you so much. And then, you know, it sounds a bit weird, but, you know, get into the shoes, you know, of your customer, get into the shoes of the person who gets the feedback. Try to shoot it to yourself in a written way or in an oral way while talking to uh, me, myself, and I is weird. But what else you can do if you want to grow as a person who is proficient in feedback? And, you know, with all the formulations which you, which you tell, you will understand whether this formulation works or not. And then uh, request feedback from people you value your, uh, the, uh, from people which opinion you value, which position you respect. And it's also very important for people who are very sensitive to critics and who pe for people who sometimes tend to work with toxic people who are giving feedback just to assault and to make you feel bad. You always uh, need to ask yourself, is the opinion of this person in this specific area is something I really respect because it can be that the person is not expert enough in something and he's providing you inadequate feedback, which doesn't have any roots, you know, any background. It's This is just assaulting words. And if it's the person whose opinion you don't respect in this specific area, you still, you know, look at the feedback. It can be that it was a nice guess and it's it's not a guess, it's fact. You need to work on that. But there is also a probability you will reject it because the opinion of a certain person here for you doesn't matter as much. But if it's the person who is a role model, a bench fork to you, you respect, you know, his position at a certain area, then most probably this is something to work with and deep dive a little bit more and then accept and create the plan what you will do with that. So guys, enjoy the feedback, share the feedback and build psychological safety because when we know that if we do something wrong very quickly, our friends in the team, our teammates, they will highlight it in the very beginning and will they will send a signal that we need to change something. We feel safe. We know, you know, we're all together. We're giving honest, open, instant feedback, and we're here growing together. That really creates psychological safety and makes it really fun to work, to grow, and to develop. Thank you so much and wish you a lot of feedbacks and enjoy the day. Bye-bye.